When I first moved to London in 1995, I had the great opportunity to work with Peter Gordon at the Sugar Club. Um, he's an amazing influence, a great friend and still a mentor to me. Uh, so he kind of opened up my eyes to uh, New Zealand hospitality, but also New Zealand ingredients, the food and the wine. I think as a chef, what I like to do is uh, look at local areas and what they're known for and what great ingredients I can get there. Uh, and then use my years of cooking to be able to put a small spin on those ingredients so that people aren't just nourished and they don't just have a great meal, but they have a memorable moment. Saxon Prol is named after two racehorses. Uh, Saxon was a large racehorse, a beautiful horse that was meant to win everything. And then Prol was a small, kind of gnarly looking horse. And that's the one that went on to be the most winning racehorse ever. So it's sort of the story of uh, big and beautiful, but also uh, the little engine that could. Um, you know, kind of championing the, the lesser ingredients, not just the high-end ingredients. It's a spot where you can come and eat and drink, uh, not just once a year for a special occasion, but uh, once a week. It can be a burger and a beer at the bar, or it can be a full-on meal where you get to enjoy amazing ingredients, uh, but also a great environment. Saxon Pearl is going to be a great restaurant in New Zealand. New York and New Zealand have similar sensibilities, believe it or not. People want amazing ingredients, uh, not fussed over. We get to highlight uh, the best of America here in New York. When we're in New Zealand, we get to use those amazing ingredients and, and make them the centerpiece on the plate. What really excites me about going to Commercial Bay is there's such a history there. I think that was the gateway into Auckland and into New Zealand. A lot like the Bowery was the gateway into New York. Um, so I think historically there's a great tie between what we do here in New York and what we want to do in New Zealand. But I also think there's such a commitment to food and beverage uh, in Commercial Bay. I think that to be a part of that and to feel not just international um, cuisine and influence, but I think having a lot of great local chefs move in, it's to be amongst the best and to be in the best spot in Auckland.